everyone, I am Chitra Singh, your instructor for the project that we are going to make in this video. Let's start. What we have the content for application development video series. We have desktop or window applications. Forms, wizard authentication forms, dialog boxes, etc., and other applications. Let's start referring to our project by using this blueprint. We have two frames as parent, one is default, second is taken to create login form. Second frame is the child of default frame and the parent of login fields. We take the label to name the applications and the button to close the application. We take the other label to display constant message field and taken two labels to show the name of username and password and two entry fields to take the inputs from the user and these three buttons are taken to take the request by the users. This is our output. For that, we are going to create the solution. Application development process divided in two parts. First is graphical user interface and second is backend. fields that we take to create our user interface frame label entry button balloon variable i am using visual studio code software you can use any other software to create our login application we require some module so import these modules I always divide my code in parts to create login application we require some base so we are taking here class to define our object You can see that I named my object login app and this is my child class of frame. That is my parent class. Now I am declaring here my constructor method to initialize my data members and uh, method members of the object. Initialize the module here. Give title and icon name to your application. Raising the window application size setting the size of column and row.
the default frame we can activate and deactivate by this option setting up the default background color of the default frame I am taking black here you can take any other color also now define the variable here variables variables are used to hold the memory by name given to it and we assign the value to it Here we are calling the frame constructor. Balloon. It is used to display the name and description of the widgets. When the cursor is placed over widgets, it displays the information. If you forget to close the frame, then you will not able to see the frame. It will not appear. Keep remember this thing. Sorry, this is PMW. This is our first part. That is our base that require to create our login application. In our second part, we will create uh, some method and functions. So, first I am creating here a method, entry method. Entry. It is used to take the input from the users. After defining the method, we define some function that we define out of the class. We will define the frame, label and button functions that help us to create the fields of login application. Frame. Frame is the space or container for other widgets.
level. It is used to display the text and images. Text can be of multiple lines or a word. Buttons. When the user click to it by using mouse or keyboard, it activate and invoke the method by sending request and then method send back the response as output. So now move on to the third part. Shift this down. We will define our second frame here. That will help us to create the login field. See this is our default frame and this one is our second frame. In it we will define our login form field. You can close the application by using this button also. This method override redirect give us two options. Put the value 0. I show you. See. I was talking about this border and it is giving us the facility to close, to maximize and minimize and it is also showing the name of the application. But when you put the value 1, it will not show you the border of the default frame. Okay, And also with it the option will disappear and you will not able to minimize, maximize and close the application and also it will not show the name of the application. 
to overcome that problem we created this label to name our application and this button to close our application third part has been completed now we will move on the fourth part done a mistake over here you can see that okay correct to it and uh, one other place over here color name and uh, forgot to setting up the default font size of the default frame
that we get by the using the option add. You can see now this is our final graphical user interface. It doesn't have any functionality right now. Let's create our final part. Backend. We have validation method. Validation method. It validates the password and email present in the database. But in this project, I am using text file. Let's code the functionality of the application. That is our last part. This is very simple functionality. Anyone can understand very easily. Okay. This is our validation method for the functionality of the application. So I am not taking here database and not connecting with it. I am taking instead of that a text file. Okay, you can see that text file of mine have a two data store in it. One username this and uh, the password of it pass and second of username this and the password this. Fine. This code of line we are using to open our text file and here we are reading our file. With this section of code we are replacing space by comma that is present in each data string and then that string split by the comma again and this is the duplicate line, we are deleting it. Okay. 
scroll down you can see that these four these four are our decision making conditions and uh, these are the functionality of our application in first condition it will check the username in the data if it is present then it will update here and then it will throw the message and if not present then it will throw this message and then break the chain and then in third condition it will check the username and password in the data and will show up that your password is accepted and then throw the message this afterward it will remove that label from the application and the last fourth condition if not match then it will throw this message and then break the chain our functionality of the application is ready so now we need to mention it in the attribute of login button over here after that it will work okay when you click the login button then all the functionality will work enter email id is correct see because we entered the right username so it is showing the message correct so it accepted our password also